Drea, is everything okay now? Yesterday, you was kind of upset. I just felt overwhelmed, you know, you know, being away from Aubrey. It'll be okay. Yeah, it will be okay. I'm just feeling so much. <laughs> I really don't know what to do about all this. I feel frustrated with myself, and I don't want to let anyone down. It's okay. Come here, it's okay. I'm so sorry. I know how you feel. And it hurts more because now I'm not there like, to take Andre to his doctor's appointment or, you know, he's always asking for me and everything. And, like, I feel bad because, like, when I go back to Texas, I can bring Aubrey home, but I won't be able to bring him home. Because of Andre medical issues, he needs to stay back in Texas near his doctors, which is why I can't bring him back to Atlanta with me. You're doing the right thing. Just know that. And I know that sometimes, even though you're doing the right thing, it's still Hurts. She feels bad because when she goes back to Dallas to get Aubrey, she doesn't want Andre to feel any type of way. Whenever she Andre FaceTimes her, she's like, Mama, when you coming home, Mama, are you coming to my house? Like all that. And I feel like I'm missing out too because that's my nephew. Right. Seeing her cry and then seeing people talk crap that you know she's a bad mom because she has her other <coughs> son in Dallas and then she has her other child in Atlanta. They don't know. They don't know what's but going on. But you know on. what? You gotta believe in yourself and know what you're doing is right for you and your child and your family. Once Andre and Aubrey gets older, they will understand what Dre is sacrificed for. But it's okay, you're doing the right thing. You're like you're about to be creating a future for yourself so that they can have everything. And you're doing what you have to do for them. You and I like, are going through like similar situation. I know. That's why I came after you, because <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, I know how she's feeling. Andrea and I haven't always seen eye to eye. But one thing we do have in common is we love our kids. I know that it's hard for her to be away from her family, especially because she can't raise them together. And I can tell that she's hurting. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, child. You wish you looked like me, baby. Miss Juicy looks like a rotten mango. Rotten mango? Evidently, you don't know what a mango is, because it ain't nothing rotten about Miss Juicy, baby.